just like that, we are back for the second round of the 24 Oman International Drift Championship. Hard to believe we're doing a full championship within three weeks. Three rounds back to back every weekend. Just about to start the second one. Practice is about to start. We're a few cars back. Not too bad. The weather is getting a lot hotter here in Oman. And uh, the track itself is a bit different. So I'll quickly show you. So where we were driving down the right side of the track last week, um, we're actually doing the first corner backwards this week and we're driving down the opposite side of the track. So new entry, flicking to the right this time. Uh, we got a crazy inside wall clipping point at the end of the first corner. It's gonna be very hard to chase cars, I can tell you that already, even though practice hasn't started. And uh, another wild transition onto a wall before the last corner. So last week we started here, shot down the track that way. This week we're starting here, shooting down this way. So it's gonna be fun, uh, very excited for it. And uh, let's hope we can keep up the momentum from last week. Okay, let's get started. A little surprise for James. There he is now. Might try to hijack the car for a big spin. And a little surprise for him there, and hopefully I'd rather he's checking his videos. interesting uh, takes a couple of laps to get your reference point on entry um, because you're sitting at the start line it's a long pull to the initiation and because it's so flat you have no real reference so you just need to get it a few times to have your pick your points of initiation and uh, rest of the track is cool uh, the inner wall clip as a lead car is good fun uh, as a chase car I think it's gonna be very challenging but uh, in general today we're just practicing our qualifying line and uh, we go into qualifying in about two hours so so far so good Mikey it's hot isn't it? I'm under pressure a little bit <laughs> yeah bleeding the pressure out Becky you still finding TikToks? yeah, yeah. it's hot any good ones today? Um, there's one where the puppy is being cuddled by the monkey and it's really nice <laughs> it's, by an actual monkey it's 10 out of 10 good we got two forms of team uh, crew here, one under Come pressure. On, like, <laughs> what? I'm just in my downtime, in between making sure that you're in tip top physical, mental, <laughs> uh, you know, position. I have a little tick tock flick, all right? A tick, a, flick of the tick tock. Flick of the tick tock. <laughs> Lovely. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> yep, so qualifying next. Uh, let's hope the last couple of runs of practice go good. Thoughts, feelings? Lovely red tent. <laughs> I'm actually big? not too bad. You're not too bad. I'm only like no, little only, farmer. You're like not quite for all mayo yet. No, no. no. <laughs> Ninety two by three. So we are getting ready for our first qualifying run. Practice. We didn't have much practice. We had five laps in total. So uh, not amazing. And uh, people are starting to get into the groove of this track now. Qualifying. So hopefully we get a solid first run in. 
and uh, go from there. First run of qualifying, we got 94 points. The track feels disgusting, like <laughs> septic. It's like somebody is. Did you put oil everywhere, Mikey? Well, you're trying to catch out the competition, use, um, and you're trying, trying to tell. Yeah, I, I just fudged it a little bit and put out too late. Yeah, a lot of people are having mistakes, and I just thought, like normal, usually when it gets dark, the track gets grippier. But there, I felt like we doubled our tire pressure. Um, it honestly felt really bad, like grip, no grip, grip, no grip. So as soon as I felt that in the first corner, I was like trying to be technically right, but not pushing it crazy hard because I didn't trust the track and the conditions. But uh, in general, good, we got 94 points, but definitely not the way I wanted to drive. Uh, technically good, but I know there's a lot more in it if the track grips up. And that's, that's tricky you now going into the second run because is it going to come back, you know what I mean? So I'm probably going to drop the tyre pressures a bit and uh, take, take a chance and see what happens. But not too bad. Concentration mode for the machine as we wait for you has smoke to clear thumbs up and away he goes James Dean from Ireland leaves the line Throwing it in big angle putting that back wheel lovely and wide in that outer zone as we hear the 2 JZ Screaming off that s14.9 of James Dean front bumper nearly touching the wall absolutely insane from the Irish driver as we hear limiter bashing the whole way through zone 2 he transitions puts the back of the car right on the wall how did he not make contact back wheel on the outer line around the last corner and over the finish line and it's yeah, well done. Yeah. just finished her second run we put a bit more grip in the car and I just pushed it harder 99 points absolutely in the middle of tandem practice and uh, it's been going good car has a lot of grip we're not running nitrous but i would like to be able to because we have so much grip now that i'm on the edge of power so and that's crazy to say when you have like 8 850 900 close to 900 uh, that we need more but we need more that's how much grip we have in this track so i think for the battles i'll take a bit of grip out to try to make it a bit easier to drive in a chase position but it's great that we have the option of uh, having the speed if we need it so yeah so far so good and uh, keep on going but we're after putting we chase three cars in practice we touched everyone's door it makes a red white and blue doors on this tire it's a good sign let's keep it going <laughs>
James watching that one in his legs right up on the board. That's what we see now a bit of separation starting to the play. James with a wealth of experience in that car. Khalifa, 15 years of age, he is just happy to be So many cars on the grid, so many drivers won the battle of James, and uh, Khalifa gets in his first ever battle. So here we go. Khalifa throws in straight to James. A little bit behind him, but just followed in a small bit slower than the rails. He just pushed too hard on Tim now as he puts foot to the floor now, reeling in that 180 SX as they come through. It's like they're on the wall transitioning for the first time. Not a bad lead run from young Khalifa as we see him flicking back for the wall, but the machine is right there with him as they come to the last song. Put, put the floor and breaking it on. We are into the top 16. Gonna be battling the mirror next. Though it's been a while since we had a battle. And uh, it should be a good one. He's looking really good this weekend in that car. <laughs> and uh, he's a great driver, so. Definitely going to be a hard first battle in top 16, uh, but we're going to give it our best, so fingers crossed it goes well. Uh, we got an opening ceremony now and then straight into battle, so fingers crossed. So here we go, the first battle of our top 16. It is James Dean versus Demir. James throwing it in, but look at Demir. He's right there with him, stuck on the door that S14.9. As we see James putting foot to floor, absolutely smoking them rear tires off as he transitions back now. Doing whatever he can to try and shake off Tamir, but Tamir is right there with him. He knows James Dean's consistent, he knows he's fast, he knows he can trust his line, and it seems to be working in Tamir's favour. James Dean doing a near perfect lead line, but look at Tamir's chase!
here we go. Second half of this top 16 battle is the mirror to lead. James the chase. They're coming down the mirror, throws it in. But look at James Dean, he's right there with him. The mirror now on a lovely wide line, but James Dean is stuck to his door as they come through the first zone, lining up for the inside clip on the wall. Massive dive through the smoke from Demir and James Dean as they push through outer zone two. Look at James, he's right there with him. Huge transition from both guys. How did they not hit the wall as they come around the last corner for the final time over the finish line? It's a close one. He was really smooth chasing me and uh, I knew that we had to push hard in the, in the chase and I felt good. I entered really nice and I'm really close in the first corner and uh, coming into the second corner I didn't take a huge risk on the transition. I would have liked to have been a bit closer there but I sucked back up to him on the, both the last two corners. So, But anyway, no matter what, top eight, not bad going. So very happy with that. Uh, let's see if we can uh, bring it to top four. Fingers crossed. Jeb has already started to fight with me. Saw that. <laughs> He's already started to give me the old shoulder barge. I didn't even walk into him. Oh, I literally sorry, was just sorry. like, this is what happens. It gets, it gets really competitive, you see. Yeah, we're battling again. Wow. Second weekend in a row. But and I think so next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next weekend, maybe. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So. How long is this evening taking? Oh, it's, oh! oh! Crash. It's been a lot of crash. Light goes green and here we go. First battle of the grid. It, it is James Dean to lead. Benedict is turbo to chase. James Dean throwing in. Huge aggression. But look at turbo. Turbo's right there with him. Both guys absolutely lose that one. Turbo is stuck to the side of James Dean's S14. For the first time, filling hours on one. What a dive from Turba! He's right there with the machine. This is exactly what we were expecting from both these veterans of European driving. As we see now James Dean doing what he can to try and shake off Turba. Turba is stuck with him there, right over the finish line. Traffic light is set, it goes green, and away they go. Benedict is Turba to lead. James Dean to chase. Look at this as we see both guys thrown it in. I got that confused half of the show and I mixed the cars up. And you're winning! <laughs> 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 and the top four, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tough battle with Sherba once again. He is very fast. Definitely the fastest car we followed so far here. Tough one to get by. Uh, he gave a very good chase. And uh, when I chased him, I chased him hard. I uh, got a bit lost in the smoke a couple of times. But going into the... Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Going into the last corner, took a big dive, popped through the smoke. I thought I was going to hit him, but it was close, wasn't it? Very good. Do you know what? I'm... It's okay. <laughs> My heart is about to stop. Thank no, you. it was a really good battle. It's two guys that know that they can push really hard against each other, and it was just a really cool display of good driving. Yeah. And like, we've had a long top 16, so it's great to have a sick battle, and it's done. Decision made. Cool. Yeah. Well done, Ben. Like, and Jim is a great driver. Yeah, so. he was great, and he was pushing hard, so. It was a good one to get by, but I dived into the last corner. I thought it was, oh, when I popped through the smoke, but just worked out. Uh, yeah, let's try to keep going. It's
Chambers. Traffic light is set. It goes through. It goes. Ali McSpeed the lead. James Dean to chase. And Ali coming down. But the machine is right there with him. Ali's gone heavy. And he hits James. <laughs> He just ran along the wall, it'd be fine, but he bounced back out of it. I wouldn't have hit it. It's just unlucky that he bounced out of the wall. And then there was just no room for him. but there's just way too much damage. Bus radiator, fan blew off, the strut tower's bent, the shock towers aren't coming in this much that all the firewall is wrecked. But that didn't matter. We almost had a home on it, new shaft in it, new PC on it. Yeah, we tried our best, but uh, to be honest, we needed another 20 minutes. The subframe has been a little bit so nothing is fitting right. And so yeah as you can see there's some serious damage on all the metal work on up here chassis it's all bent here strut tower went in uh, the subframe down here is bent um, and a crack as well on it somewhere so not ideal not ideal well uh, we got second place we were looking good, but uh, it is what it is. 
Uh, we tried hard, so thanks to all the different teams that helped out. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. Oh, thank you, the Cheerbez team. Everyone else that was helping out. Uh, we tried our best, but time was against us. But we got another accommodation in. We're back in the car in six days, yeah. But we have we have a lot of work to do. It's all good. It's all good. I feel really bad. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you? Is your head sore? It was like the hardest hit of my. It was hard, man. It was the second hardest of mine. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. No worries. Congrats, man. I tried, I tried to do No, I know, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I can't do more than that. Thank you. I know, I know. Like you have to go. Like, oh, that's, that's Congrats to Ahmed getting the win. Not the way I wanted to. Oh, I really Take it. Yeah. We get to do it all again next week. Next week. Hopefully. But <laughs> as long as you're okay. I'm fine. And Ali's okay. My shoulder's good. So that's it for round two, uh, second place. A lot of damage done to the car, they're still putting it back together. Here is our rear left hand corner, um, bent BC, canister ripped off, hub damage, bottom control arm damage, camera arm and attraction arm are okay. And yeah, tow arm, uh, radiator, uh, axle, it's a lot of damage, fan, obviously the chassis, but we got uh, second place in the end and got a busy week coming up to fix the car for next weekend, but we'll patch it back together as best we can and uh, that's about it, I'm okay, um, my head is uh, a bit of a headache, but other than that, ready to get back in the car, so see you all in a few days, bye, <laughs> thanks Becky. Huge thanks to the lads, and uh, next week we're back again.